Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been quite a while since I updated the uh, 1983 Bobby Allison Buick Regal that we're doing in the Miller High Life livery. Um, NASCAR group build is being hosted by Jeff's Model Garage and West Georgia Rods and Customs, Fred Henry. And uh, I posted some pictures online yesterday uh, on my progress and I decided, I, you know, I've gotten a little bit further since yesterday. So I decided I was going to make an update video so the rest of you can see. So let's take a look at what I've done. Obviously, we've got ourselves a roller here. And we've finally got the seat and the interior and everything put in. You can see on the seat that we have... Hold on a second. Let me put this light on. Maybe. I don't know if that helped. I added some seat belts use some eighth inch ribbon and those are photo etch buckles and such it was quite tedious and it was the first time that i ever uh, did seat belts of any kind let alone a racing harness but it is a five point harness with the sub belt down there yeah so you'll notice the paint detail on the fuel cell and everything and she is wired with a Gopher Racing distributor, yellow plug wires. We went and we detailed the AN fittings on the radiator hose here. Tamiya Clear Blue and Tamiya Clear Red. Same thing on the transmission cooler here. The AN fittings are painted and detailed here. Yellow Bilstein shocks, as you can see. And of course, the famous gold wheels that were on that number 22 Miller High Life Buick Regal. So I've shown this before, but you guys can look down in the cockpit there and you can see the uh, fire bottle there and it, its label. I, got, I showed you guys those decals once before, the, these decal sheets. But also, I made an MSD box. You can see that on the dash. And I used some 40 thousandths sheet styrene and I think um, 10 thousandths to make that. And the face of it is actually a decal that came off these, the sheet here. So pretty cool. Obviously, you can see the gauges and everything are painted up, trimmed out in the chrome. Switch panel over here is all detailed. Put this over, look under here, you'll see the truck arm suspension and the mounts, yellow springs, yellow Bilstein shocks, white drive shaft, white exhaust, and that gold oil pan I like so much. Did the tires today, and you guys know how shiny those tires are in those NASCAR kits. So uh, when I got done painting the white acrylic on the Goodyear Eagles, I went and I used uh, Tamiya TS-80 uh, flat clear, and I sprayed them. And I did that to lock in the white on the, uh, the letters on the tires, but also to dull down the shine on those tires. They're super shiny, you guys know. And obviously... Uh, did the sanding on the tires and everything too to make them look like they were running so yeah so you know i was talking to tony lancer after i did the bronco um i guess i got myself overwhelmed whatever with all the projects going and stuff like that and the group builds going on and i i want to participate in so many and i know that i can't participate in every one of them but i got myself kind of overwhelmed uh, i didn't know which one to continue on or whether to start a new one you know obviously i've got the street machine group build going i still am building the marlin you know and we've got uh mars rust bucket uh group build going on so yeah uh, the mustang 60 group build and we all i have time to do all of them so that's not the issue it's just what do i do what do i do it's like a adhd thing going on but tony suggested that i grab the kit that i'm closest to being completed with and I guess this one was it so 
although I had a long way to go on it, you know, a lot of it was already done. So basically I assembled what needed to be assembled that I had already painted. And then I went over to my booth and painted up some other stuff and um, let that dry up and, and we put it together. So we have our roller here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on a back burner for a little bit and concentrate on the street machine group build and the rust bucket group build and uh, get them get them started. Um, this basically the body now just needs to be painted, decaled and cleared and it's pretty much done. So that can come a little bit later. So anyway, anyway, guys, you tell me what you think down in the comment section. How, you know, how do you like it? Did I do a good job? What do you think? Let me know. All right, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.